Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, Day 4 of Season 3 here, just kicking things off and we are certainly moving and grooving here as the season progresses. We've got a fair bit of skilling to do today and possibly start a bit of Legends Quest, get a bit more into that, depends how slow the skilling is. Oh my sweet summer child. But of course we're kicking things off with our burbs and our herbs. Just getting myself a little reset here at Ferox. I can't remember if we need the earth runes anymore. We do to get to forest, don't we? So maybe rather than natures we should just put the earths in this pouch. Oh, there's 51 crafting, making a birdhouse. Oh my gosh, did I just put five renar seeds in a fucking birdhouse? Please tell me I didn't just do that. I think I just put five renar seeds in a fucking birdhouse. Ah, uh, my brain is exploding right now. That's a hundred k. Is there any way that I accidentally just drew one out of the bank? We don't even have a wealth. Oh, that is an actual catastrophe. Oh, well, this farm run's certainly not going to be seven minutes because I actually have to go buy seeds first. That is... Oh, that is rough. That's real rough. Let's dump all that and just get the shit that we want to sell. Fuck me. I can't believe I just did that. I think that may be a sign to tell me I should separate my birdhouse runs from my farm runs and not have both invents at the same time, because I, ca I can't do that again. If I ever do that again, then, well, that's already 100k just, just in the bin. Absolutely dreadful. Fuck me. It's three days worth there. We are on one mil, though we haven't collected our profit for today yet. This is absolutely a mess. Worst start to a day ever. Alright, where the fuck are we going? My hands are all shaky, what is going on with me? Teleport straight to that cabbage patch. I'm just gonna feel like an absolute fuckwit for the entire day. There's no way around it. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Ah, uh, okay, that was really weird. Bit of lag there on the client. Feels like it's caught up now. Just realised I didn't compost the one outside my house. So I'm going to have to go back. Which is unfortunate, but at least it's one that we can get to easily enough. I don't have to go back, like, it's guaranteed to grow anyway, because I've got the Zaya Easy Diary. I'm pretty sure that's the one that unlocks this patch being protected. But, uh, you get better yield, so it's better for the cash to go back. I'm still in shock from dumping 100k into a fucking birdhouse. I'm just not going to be able to get over that for all the... Okay, one left. Which I haven't spent that long, even despite, it's been like, it will have been like nine minutes, nine and a half minutes. It took me like a minute just to fucking bank before I made that catastrophe. The plan for today is going to be mining and woodcutting mainly. I'm actually on a forestry world at the minute. I'm hoping that the teak spot that I was by yesterday will be busy in a forestry world. And we might get some extra XP that way through the events. 
fingers crossed. So I think I'm gonna head straight there. We do need a tiny bit more mining XP as well, just 5k. But for the minute, I'm just gonna go check out the wood quitting spot, see if anybody is actually there. So we want our axe and our forestry kit. Doesn't actually feel great. Let me, cause I don't really wanna have to take this shit with me. I think I'm going to teleport and run from the Hunter's Guild. Wait, is this actually closer? Mm, no, it is quite a run from the Hunter's Guild though. I don't know why I even cared about having a full invent because I'm going to be dropping shit anyway. Probably just wasted some more time there. Like I say, my brain is just going to be fried for this entire session. I've accepted that now at this point. There's no getting past doing something like that. You just have to sit, let it sit with you and do better the next day. <laughs> well, there's at least one person. This guy's got a felling axe. He's a skiller. Jeez, 98 wood cutting. I mean, yeah, it's real busy here. There's, there's one other person. But one other person is better than no other people, because for those who don't know, they changed wood cutting with forestry, and if you're cutting the same tree as somebody else, you get a plus one bonus for every other person cutting that tree. Max 10 at TO wood cutting level. So there's an invisible plus one bonus on more wood cutting, as long as we're cutting the same tree as each other. As well as more chance of spawning forestry events. But we do have to get this wood cutting pretty much all the way to 50 unfortunately we can boost it by two levels but it's like 50k for a boost one level is the next best alternative like we could boost from 49 and it'd be much cheaper it's just still awkward so i'm just gonna see how much we get through today how it feels i'm curious if any of the other worlds are slightly busier because it would be more efficient well that's a busy world should have gone to that one because there's no one here Okay, there's a couple people here. Two people? Two is better than one. Well, there is 45 wood cutting to level 1125. Ooh, what's this? I've never seen this one before. I don't know where, that's so cool. What, what do I do with sturdy beehive parts? Oh, there's another one. Shit, I didn't even realise. You can make your own beehive. We got a construction level there from making some beehives. Apparently these things are used for some sort of thing you can build it in your POH, but I don't know, it's weird. Seems to be decent XP though, but you do need wood and I accidentally dropped all my wood like two minutes ago because I wasn't expecting a thing to pop up that needed wood. So we can get 25 bark from it, but what does the bark do? Is there any way you can get money out of bark? I guess like the felling axe handle or something is probably the way, but... If anyone knows how to get money out of, like, GP out of anima bark, let me know in the comments. Would be good to know. Oh, Forester's rations. Oh, we don't have the felling axe, does it not matter? We have 45 now, so we could cut maple logs instead. I think teak's just going to be faster, though. It's less XP per cut, but it's quicker to cut, so... That's why, like, people are literally sat here doing it. We're going to need to cut about 300 logs. I don't think we're going to get to do much of Legends Quest today. Honestly, it's probably just going to be a slow skill in there. Is it better to do maples though? Because there'll be more people at maples. Thing is, if we leave, it's not really quick to get back here. There's 46. I think I am actually going to go check out maples. Because if there's like 10 people on maples, then my boosted wood cutting level will be enough to make up for the difference in how quick I'm chopping. Okay, just got myself a full invent, gonna go check on the maple trees. I'm hoping there's gonna be just a shit ton of people there. There is like 2,000 people on this world, but that was not feeling too hot. I'm like halfway through my day and I'm only fucking level 46 wood cutting, you know what I mean? What do we need to get to Camelot? I can never remember. Oh my gosh, is it water? Jeez. Oh my gosh, it's not water either. The fuck do I need? You don't need fire runes to get to Camelot. Am I tripping right now? What the fuck is going on? Where's Camelot? Five air runes. Are you taking the piss? Five entire air runes. They're having a giggle, honestly. Absolute giggle. Look how busy this cunt is. Look at this. It's way better. Okay, just gonna bank all my shite. Jeez, it's gonna get a little busy in it though. Alright, we're easily gonna end up with like a plus 10 wood cutting 
invisible bonus here, helping out. Look how quick quad chopping it's like as regular as the teaks, except more XP. Definitely a good call to come here. These aren't worth shit either, so I don't have to feel bad about dropping them. And we'll get way more forestry events for the amount of people here. All positives. Okay, this is actually slower than Teak's in the chop rate. Like, I'm not getting them quite as often. It's just a little more hurrying consistent. But I think it is still better. Fuck the forestry events are. They don't seem to be spawning. These are always the weirdest sessions, because I feel like it's just... I don't know, it feels a bit dead content, I'm not gonna lie. Like, why do we actually have to woodcut? That's all I'm saying. Well, there's 47. Oh, there's a forestry event over there. Oh my gosh. I almost missed it. I don't know how long it was. I'm not getting much XP at the minute. I'm guessing it comes in bulk at the end, but I'm worried I was too far away or something and I'm not actually gaining anything from this. Ah, uh, I think I must have been like too far away from it when it spawned and it didn't count properly. And today has kind of sucked. Ever since those Renar seeds went into a fucking bird nest, this session has been a wrap. Oh, I just noticed that message in my chat after scrolling up as you were dropping near the event when it started. I was literally five feet away, what the fuck? That was such a bollocks addition that they added. Like, it didn't make anything better, it just made things actively worse. Oh, you made it so that I can't engage with forestry events half of the time that I see them? Cool, I'm just not gonna engage with that content anymore, good job. This is actually depressing me, how slow this is. I think the teaks were better. Just gone down to fucking 34k an hour. Just keep slipping. Right, you know what? I can't be asked to go back to the teaks. I'm gonna go chop some willows. Because there's people over here. So I'm still gonna be getting my plus 10 bonus. I bet it's quicker. I bet it's, I bet this is more efficient than maples. Even though it's like half the XP or whatever. He says he doesn't chop a single log. Jesus, these are going down quick. Yeah, this is actually way better. We chop way quicker. We get like over twice as many willow logs as we do maple logs in the same time, so... We got an emerald from Rick. Just what I always wanted. Couldn't have been a dunce. Well, I'll tell you one thing for sure right now, I am not getting any more woodcutting levels after this. I'm taking the hit of 50k twice to boost, because I'm pretty sure we have to do it at two separate points during the quest. I'm staying at 48 and boosting to 50. So this is actually the most depressing time I've ever spent on this account. The great seed catastrophe of 2024 definitely, uh, definitely put a crimp in my feelings for the day. How odd. Right as we do this, there's a fucking event that we're close enough to. No, we weren't. We weren't close enough, even though we were two fucking seconds away. How ridiculous is that? We were literally right there. Fix your game, Jagex. All right, we are off to the island of the fossils. We want a pickaxe. 
All right, I'll do those last two at the end of the session. I'm gonna get this mining level cracked out if I can. Oh, fuck it, we're not gonna get this today, so... Let's just get on and finish the birdhouse run before the clock runs out. No Renars in our inventory to throw away this time around. I don't know why I was expecting this day to end any better than it started. There's a frustrating experience to get us kicked off. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry for this episode. I've been a pain throughout it. I've not been good entertainer. It's been a rough day. We still need a tiny bit of a mining level. We still need to boost our wood cutting twice. I'm getting 37k, 23k in wood cutting, 4k in mining and a bit of hunter. Wood cutting was not this bad the last time I trained it. In season one now, maybe we're going back. But forestry was good back then, and it made it a pleasant experience. And I remember enjoying it and thinking, huh. If I have to do woodcutting again on this series, it's not going to be so bad. I can just go to a forestry world and it'll be fine. And then they released an update which made it so if you're not close enough to the event when it started. And close enough um, seems to be like within two tiles of because it's literally like if I couldn't from the willow tree to that tiny other willow tree that was in the same conglomerate of trees, I can't even get XP from that anymore. Like... What the fuck? You know? So, yeah, I spent an hour today chopping fucking maples. It's been a shit episode and I'm sorry. I hope it was more entertaining to watch me suffer than it was for me to suffer. Hit the like button, send me some love in the comments, I need it right now. Subscribe if you haven't already because the next episode will be better, I'll tell you that for sure right now. I ain't chopping fucking logs all day again. Peace.